Hey guys, welcome to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you all the tips and tricks to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. And that includes uh, plugin tutorials, how to create batch files. I do everything. Whatever you need to know, I'm here to help you with that. Today, we're going to be talking about a plugin that blocks your players from being able to claim a kit right after a fresh map wipe. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you stay up to date whenever I upload new content. If you guys find this video helpful in the slightest bit, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. All right, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get right after it. Sometimes as server owners, we want to be really generous to our players that come into our servers. And one of those ways that we're super generous is we make kits that they can claim. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to create your own kits, check on the YouTube card in the top right hand corner and it'll take you to a video that shows you how to build kits. So for this video example, I've already pre-made a kit. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this video. But what I am going to do is show you how to delay your players from being able to claim that kit right, like for a certain period of time right after a wipe. So the reasoning for that is sometimes we don't want our players to be able to just hop into the server right after a fresh map wipe and immediately be able to claim a kit. Let's say it's a VIP kit or a, or something that gives them a, an advantage over other players. Sometimes we don't want them to be able to do that right after a map wipe. So we can delay them being able to claim that kit using a plugin called Wipe Kits from the UMod website. And I'm gonna post the link in the description down below so that you guys can access super easy. All right, so here we are on the UMod website and I'm just gonna quickly download this plugin and install it. And just like always, if you haven't seen how to install a plugin, be sure to check the video in the YouTube card in the top right hand corner, it shows you how to install plugins. So once we have the plugin installed, we just go into our Oxide folder and we go to the config and we scroll down till we find wipe kits. And there it is. In this case, it's the, it's the last one for me. All right, so this is the default config file for wipe kits. So what this plugin is gonna do is actually check the last time you wipe the map and see if it's been whatever time frame we determine here in a minute uh, past that time of wipe, and then it will allow your players to claim this kit. So if we hop in game real quick, um, I've just pulled up my kits, and this is just stuff that I've you know built through uh, creating video tutorials and stuff like that. But this kit down here called gift is the one that I want to delay uh, because it has a lot of building materials in there that I might not want somebody to have access to right away. So the name of this kit is called gift. We need to remember that. So back in our config, uh, it's, it's, this is super simple. So uh, we're just going to deal with one kit. This is, like I said, this is the default config file, but we're only going to deal with one kit. So we're just going to take that one out. So the kit name that we want to block for X amount of time is called gift. And let's say we want to block it for, let's say somebody can't use this kit for the first 24 hours of wipe. And this measurement is done in minutes to make sure you convert 24 hours into minutes. And to do that, we simply go 24 hours times 60 minutes. So 60 minutes per hour. And that gives us a total of 1,440 minutes. So we're just going to put in here 1,440. Uh, we are using the kit's GUI, so we're going to change this to true. And we're going to save this and reload wipe kits. Just like that. So now if we go back in game after a fresh map wipe and do the same thing, we go slash kit. Uh, now we've got this gift kit down here and we're going to try and redeem this kit. So it closes the kits GUI and it says in the chat there, this server just wiped. Try again in 23 hours and 58 minutes. So like I said, super simple plugin to use. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get back to you in, on each and every one of them. This is a really handy plugin if you've got some really overpowered kits that you want your players to have access to, but maybe you just don't want them to have access to it right away, right after, right after a fresh map wipe. So you can put as many kits on this list that you want. Uh, just make sure you follow the same syntax. So you use the brackets and make sure you put the commas in the right places. As you guys know that if you screw up 
uh, the syntax of a line, it will completely break your plugin. So make sure you follow the same syntax and you can put as many kits on there as you want and different time frames for each individual kit. So if you've got different levels of VIPs, you want you want uh, you know level one VIPs to wait longer than level three VIPs, for example. Um, you can do that with this plugin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, throw me a thumbs up. I super appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys again in the next video.